Okay, so today we're finally going to answer the question, how do you add games to your 2.4G wireless controller gamepad? So this is going to vary on a case-to-case -case basis. I looked up a couple different tutorials on YouTube on how to do it, and they had files in here on the SD card that just don't exist on mine. So it comes down to the version of the game stick that you have. But if you take out the micro SD card and put it in your computer and you see this, if you see these four pop up, then you're in the right place because I can show you how to add games to the game stick. So you would think that you could just go to the ROMs and open up maybe NES and add a ROM in here and it would pop up on the game stick. Unfortunately though, it does not. If you go to res, the RES, you see that these data files are what I think are where they hard code the ROMs in here and I don't know how to mess with any of these I'm not an expert at all on any of this but they have a downloaded folder and they put some games in here this is where you're gonna wanna put games that you've downloaded on from your computer and put them into this SD card so to put them in here though you're gonna need to extract them after you download them so let's for example uh, delete Mario 3 and as you see over here I downloaded the Mario 3 ROM I can't tell you where to go but if you just look up uh, NES ROMs on online you'll find a place to get them so if you double click this you're gonna be brought to this page if you have the extractor at WinRAR uh, if you have 7-zip it might look a little bit different I recommend WinRAR for your computer for extracting files though so when you get to this page you're going to want to right click on the highlighted blue area uh, click extract to a specific folder and then you're going to want to go to the USB drive E or wherever your SD card is located and then click downloaded download and then it just extracts it straight to the SD card if we click download again it'll update and it's as simple as that but you're gonna want to extract them if you do not extract them they will not boot up and with PlayStation games PlayStation 1 you're gonna want to look for a format file that says PBP when you go online look up PlayStation PBP ROMs uh, this file is a PlayStation file that was used for the PlayStation Portable and the PlayStation Vita this is how they were able to play PlayStation 1 games it's just a different version used for the handhelds but even then so unfortunately with these game six PlayStation just doesn't run right if anyone's found a good way to get these to run good I would like you to put it into the comments so that a lot more people can know about it I've messed with them and they just don't run at full speed I had I did have one guy a while ago say that he took off the PlayStation 1 games and put new ones on there and they ran fine I would like to know how he did it though but this is how you're gonna add the games on here so when you go back to the game stick and plug everything in you're not gonna see the images I, I couldn't figure out how to add images I, I did it just like they did and I couldn't figure out how to add images but at least you're getting the games before you eject the SD card though you're gonna to wanna to go down here click on this little SD card icon and eject the SD card I've seen so many times where people don't inject the SD card and then they corrupt all of their data and you know if you're moving around like pictures or music and stuff most of the time you can just take it out of your computer but when you're moving files like these it is critical please eject the SD card I'm telling you you run a really high risk of corrupting everything but after that just plug it back into your game stick and it boots right up it's it, it works all good you know I was able to play uh, Super Mario Land Mario 3 um, I even got Spyro year of the dragon to boot up although it doesn't really run good but that is how you add games to your 2.4 G wireless controller gamepad I hope this helps some of you and thanks for watching